When you're playing your first matches on Monolith, you're definitely going to want to head towards that middle structure where you're going to find the rocket launcher. It's pretty exciting and gives really a classic Halo feel when you see both teams really sprinting in right away and trying to get away with the rockets. One of the cool things about the map is that there's these two man cannons so that you can get from one side to the other really quickly and change your route if you're being chased. It's a very risky maneuver, but it might be necessary to go pick up one of the World Ordnance drops. One tip on this map is Infinity Rumble is going to be dropping more of these, so they're a good chase target for players to go after. Another great thing about the map is that there's these power weapon spawns. There's a lot of little perches, so after you pick up the beam rifle, you can get up on the backside and have a nice view out over the entire field so that you can get some good sniping action on them. The symmetry of this map makes it fantastic for CTF. Teams are going to really have a choice to either run the flag around the outside or run the flag down the middle of the map. This makes it a much faster, higher paced scoring game. Because of the paths around the outside of this map, the energy sword can be extremely dominant. I recommend comboing it with the overshield. You're going to be almost unstoppable around the outside of the map.